Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 10th, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico. AA thoughts for the day. Surrender. There are two things I've learned from this program. First, to surrender completely. I was fighting a losing battle with the bottle. I gave up, and through defeat, I won. Second, to change myself, because the world isn't going to change to suit poor little old me. It's just this simple. Whatever it is in me that led me down the alcoholic road to misery, I no longer want any part of it. Copyright 1976, AA for the Woman. AA Pamphlet, page 5. Page 17. Thought to consider. Take a walk with God. He will meet you at the steps. Acronyms. ASAP. Always say a prayer. Just for today, what I've learned from building a new life. There have been some hard times too during these years of sobriety. When I was five years sober, the daughter who drove me to the treatment program and helped me get admitted disappeared. My AA friends helped me search for her, but she has never been found. Her mother and I raised her three daughters. I did not have to take a drink. I went to lots of meetings to relieve the pain. When I lost a second daughter to cancer a few years ago, I did the same thing. What I've learned is that it doesn't matter what hardships and losses I've endured in sobriety. I have not had to go back to drinking. As long as I work the program, keep being of service, go to meetings, and keep my spiritual life together. I can live a decent life. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 485. Daily Reflections Recovery by Proxy They, the promises, will always materialize if we work for them. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. Sometimes I think, making these amends is going too far. No one should have to humble himself like that. However, it is the very humbling of myself that brings me that much closer to the sunlight of the Spirit. AA is the only hope I have if I am to continue healing and gain a life of happiness, friendship, and harmony. As Bill sees it, look before you leap. Wise men and women rightly give a top rating to the virtue of prudence. They know that without this all-important attribute, little wisdom is to be had. Mere looking before we leap is not enough. If our looking is charged with fear, suspicion, or anger, we had better not have looked or acted at all. We lose the fear of making decisions, great and small, as we realize that should our choice prove wrong, we can, if we will, learn from the experience. Should our decision be the right one, we thank God for giving us the courage and the grace that caused us to act. Letter 1966. Big book quote. To sum up about sex, we earnestly pray for the right ideal, for guidance in each questionable situation, for sanity, and for the strength to do the right thing. If sex is very troublesome, we throw ourselves the harder into helping others. We think of their needs and work for them. This takes us out of ourselves. It quiets the imperious urge. When to yield would mean heartache. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, How It Works, page 70. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Here are answers to the question of how a person can live without liquor and be happy. The things we put in place of drinking are more than substitutes for it. One is the fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous. In this company, you find release from care, boredom, and worry. Your imagination will be fired. Life will mean something at last. The most satisfactory years of your existence lie ahead. Among other AAs, you will make lifelong friends. You will be bound to them with new and wonderful ties. Does life mean something to me now? Meditation for the day. Do you want the full and complete satisfaction that you find in serving God and all the satisfactions of the world also? It is not easy to serve both God and the world. It is difficult to claim the rewards of both. If you work for God, you will still have great rewards in the world. 
but you must be prepared to sometimes stand apart from the world. You cannot always turn to the world and expect all the rewards that life has to offer. If you are trying sincerely to serve God, you will have other and greater rewards than the world has to offer. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not expect too much from the world. I pray that I may also be content with the rewards that come from serving God. Hazeltine Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Kurt L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.